Loud said, let there be flight. Now, listen here, man. It's Woody Jack Academics. And pretty much a lot of people were clowning Creflo Dollar because before he asked for $65 million because he wanted a new jet. Pretty much we looked at him like, bruh, you think you're Ric Flair? You think you're going to be limousine riding, jet flying, doing all that stuff on our dime? Now, basically, his ministry, and if you guys don't know who Creflo Dollar is, it might sound like he's into the stock market. His last name is Dollar. He might sound like he's a con man they could find on 42nd Street, or he might just sound like a preacher, because he is a preacher. Now, the thing is, man, his ministry came out in defense of him today. They put out a very long statement on their website, even addressing everything that people have been saying about him and also the ministry. Number one, they said this, okay? They say, we're definitely going to acquire this G650 because it's the best, because we the best, okay? They got DJ Khaled on us. Now, they said this exactly. We plan to acquire a Gulfstream G650 because it's the best, and it's a reflection of the level of excellence at which this organization chooses to operate, okay? Now, if you guys don't know what a G650 is, G650, $65 million, it's a twin-engine jet that could comfortably seat 18 people, right? And apparently it was supposed to uh, allow Creflo Dollar, his wife, and other people to comfortably fly across the earth and deliver the um, word of God. That's what they're saying. Now, they also address a lot of people who thought they were being petitioned to donate. They said, listen, for everybody who was talking crap about us, if you don't come to our church, if you do not subscribe to all the stuff that we put out, if you aren't one of our members, we ain't want you to donate anyway. So why the heck are you making comments about what we want to do? We're going to get the money. We are going to buy the jet. And that's about it. So pretty much, I mean, hey, I think they kind of, listen, I think to be honest, they did they kind of cleared it up, okay? I mean, you could be mad at them all you want, but obviously if the ministry, who would probably represent the people that's in that whole church, that's pretty much, it's uh, really worldwide, if they co sign it, I ain't got no problem with it. Now, they were talking all type of stuff. They were like, listen, do they got a word, or or this is something ordained from the word of God and the, the biblical principles and all that type of stuff, but pretty much, this is a good way to finesse, okay? A good amount of money from the members. So I'm not mad at it. Apparently he'll get it. They're going to rebrand the donation procedure because they're only going to try to request money from their members. Okay. And I think because of the the uh, public GoFundMe campaign, people thought that it was to everyone. But they said no. They only want their people to do it. So what do you guys think about this, man? He's definitely getting it. He's going to get his goddamn jet. He's going to be flying across the world. And if you think people... Well, sucking dick for truck fit. Imagine what they'll do to get on this goddamn plane now. Because don't, don't think nothing crazy is going on up in these churches. Imagine the fuckery that will ensue. But get in the comment box. Make sure you guys like, definitely subscribe. Shwoody Jackademics, man. I'm out.